Hey guys, what's up, and welcome to my video. Um, uh, let me ask you something. Have you turned off your computer, laptop most preferably, and for some reason it would not turn on? Well, I have a solution for you. I had this problem three times with my HP NV15JT100. Three times it has happened on me now, and the first time I sent it in, and then the second time I figured it out on my own. And now it has happened again. I don't know what's going on. It's like every two months I have to do this entire process. It's, or every two or two to five months, I don't know. But it's completely ridiculous. And I'm here to help you out because I have gone through it so many times. I, I don't have any professional skills. I mean, I didn't go to college or anything. But I know what I'm talking about. And this is not going to screw up your computer. If your computer is not turning on in the first place, it's pretty much screwed until you do this process. So... Okay, so most likely you have my ex computer, my HP and VJT100. If you don't, the same process pretty much. It's, it's the same thing. So what you need to do is you need to go to hp.com slash support. So go to your address bar and type this address right there. Okay, and go to United States English or wherever you're from. Go to drivers and downloads and you want to enter your product name or model number Wait, so in order to find your product or your model number you want to take the battery out of your laptop and look up where the, lo the letter the words model number is located and it, enter those you know the, that stuff i think mine is e1 p or ep15 uh, 40 or something like that i don't know but yeah you want to enter that in, or you can do, well, you can't, yeah, okay, so yeah, just enter your model number in here, and you're good. But if you have the same one I have, um, just go to this link in the, in the description, I'll put it in the description, um, and you should see a page like this, and you go to, you go under BIOS, and you go under note, HP, HP Notebook System BIOS Update, or HP Notebook System BIOS Update Intel, depending on what processor you have. In order to know what in processor you have, just basically if it said it came with Intel, then yeah, it's got an Intel processor, basically. Um, I have an Intel processor, so I had to do this one. So let's go ahead and do this real quick. Download the Intel processor, X on that, X on that, and let this baby download, alright? Okay, so what you want to do is you want to plug in a flash drive, a USB flash drive, either 3.0 or 2.0. Depending on what your laptop can use, probably 3.0 and 2.0, but you want to plug that into your desktop that you're using right now, and you want to format your flash drive. Basically, once you plug it in, you go to this PC, and it'll show up here. You want to click, right-click and do format, okay? And this pop, this 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 will pop up, and it says FAT32, all that stuff. So you want to have the settings exactly as I have them. Start, yes. All right, done. So once that file is downloaded, I want you to go to your downloads in the browser that you are using and launch the file. Click yes, next, I accept, next, yes to all, if that pops up. It, it's just overwriting because I've already done this. But um, yeah, so this this will pop up, okay? It's, okay, so update the system BIOS on this device, create a recovery USB flash drive used on devices with the corrupted BIOS. So. Basically, you don't want to do the first one because um, you're using a different computer, you know, to do this. And you want to do this one. You want to create a USB flash drive uh, to use devices with a mouse. So, what you're going to need is a USB flash drive. You want to plug it into your computer right now. Whether it's a 2.0 or 3.0, it, it really doesn't matter. Okay? You want to click Next and Create Recovery USB Flash Drive. Next. So basically, in order to do this, all you have to do is do this process I'm doing right now, and choose that right there, next. And when this is done right here, we're going to go to the laptop, and we're going we're gonna to basically power on the laptop with this plugged in while pushing Windows button and B. So, yeah. Okay, so now this is done. Okay. All right, guys. So now you're going to need your USB that you used earlier to create HP tools with. Next up, you want to unplug your computer, uh, take out the battery, and then 
you want to flip it back over and just have the power cord plugged in. Like such. Next off, oh, all in good fun here, by the way. <laughs> Don't get butt hurt. Next off, you want to plug in your USB. Finally. And you're going to want to hold down Windows, B, and Power at the same time. Windows key, the B button, and Power button at the same time for three seconds. And then you want to let go. Just three seconds. At least, at least two seconds after the power light, LED light comes on. Okay? So, pretty much it takes about, uh, I say, 20, 30 seconds until it finally goes to the screen that we need where it starts writing the BIOS right here there we go it takes a few seconds and this whole process right here once it's at this screen takes I guess um, two minutes and then it start and then it reboots like two or three times and then your computer should now be working now I strongly recommend after this that you recover your computer you back up everything and recover it and then repeat this BIOS process again because for some reason I had this process I, I did this process already the other day and for some reason it did it again okay so the problem with that is is I'm gonna have to recover this bad boy and then I'm gonna have to redo the BIOS again and hopefully that works these HP NVs I don't understand them but the BIOS could be a real pain Anyway, yeah, so let's keep, uh, let's, let's wait a little bit until it's done. All right, there you go. Now you are able to use your computer again, and if anything happens, if it happens again, you know how to fix it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm, um, have a good one. Goodbye. If you liked that, give a thumbs up and subscribe. Later, bitches. <laughs>